Hello students, myself Dr. Shirat Tiwari as you all know, today I would like to give you a small lecture on the topic of surface chemistry which is unit 5 of your NCRT volume 1. Children, this chapter is very important and forms a major portion of the physical chemistry part. First of all, we should know what is surface chemistry. Children, surface chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the nature of surfaces and the changes occurring on the surfaces. After this, I would like to tell you some very important terms which will be coming to you in this chapter. The first important term is adsorption, adsorbate, adsorbent and then a parallel term known as absorption. After all these terms, there is a new term again which will be coming in this chapter and that is sorption. What is sorption? Children, sometimes the process of absorption and adsorption occur together and they are indistinguishable. Such a process is known as sorption. Now, let, us tell, let, let me tell you something about the difference between adsorption and absorption. Children, the basic difference is that adsorption is a surface phenomenon while adsorption is a bulk phenomenon. After this, I will tell you what are the factors which are responsible for the adsorption of gases on solids. The first factor is nature of adsorbate. The second is nature of adsorbent. The third is the specific area of the adsorbent, pressure of the gases, temperature and finally activation of adsorbent. Well, after this, I would like to tell you what is the mechanism of adsorption. Children, when we study the mechanism of adsorption, we find that adsorption is an exothermic process. Why adsorption is an exothermic process? has been studied widely and has, this question has been asked also in the board examination. During adsorption, some heat is given out from the surface and due to this heat, adsorption is said to be exothermic. Important parameters like delta H, delta S and delta G are negative and as such, I can tell you that adsorption is a spontaneous process. After this, I would like to tell you the types of adsorption. There are two types of adsorption. One is called physisorption or physical adsorption. The second is called chemisorption or chemical adsorption. Chemical adsorption occurs due to strong chemical bond formation while physical adsorption occurs due to weak van der Waals forces. There are some basic differences between adsorption and adsorption. I have told you the one difference. The two which are more important is that in physisorption, enthalpy of adsorption is very low and it is of the order of 20 to 40 kilojoule per mole while enthalpy of adsorption is high for chemisorption that is around 80 to 240 kilojoule per mole. For physisorption there is no appreciable activation energy while this activation energy is very high for chemical adsorption. After this I have a new term for you that is adsorption isotherms. When you plot a curve between x upon n and the pressure 
the curves obtained are said to be called as absorption isotherms. The equation given by Friendlich was x upon m is equal to kp to the power 1 upon n where n is more than 1. If we take log of both sides, we get log x upon m is equal to log k plus 1 upon n log of p. For Friendlich absorption, there are two important conditions. The first is 1 upon n is equal to 0. When 1 upon n is equal to 0, x upon n is equal to constant and the absorption is independent of pressure. When 1 upon n is equal to 1, x upon n is directly proportional to pressure. Now lastly, I will tell you the basic demerit of Friendlich adsorption isotherm. The Friendlich adsorption isotherm fails at high temperature. Thank you. I will continue in my next video.